Nigerian Army has said that the tension that was observed among residents in the Umu Ijebo quarters at Umu Apu village in the Umuniochi local government area of Amia State on Thursday was as a result of gun battle that ensued between troops of the armed forces of Nigeria and unknown gunmen. The military authority described as numbers of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB and its armed affiliates, Eastern Security Network, ESN. Earlier, residents took to social media to raise alarm with video recording of tension in the Umu Apu community. According to some of the residents, homes were broken and a lot of youths in the community were taken away by the military. Adding, there were sporadic gunshots in Umu Ijebo, Abuma and also areas of the Umuaku community. The military authority in a news statement few hours ago said that a combined team of security operatives engaged the unknown gunmen at their camps both at the Umudi and Umuaku areas in the local government which led to the killing of two of the unknown gunmen. Sequel to additional intelligence gathered in the aftermath of recent raid operations against the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its armed wing, the Eastern Security Network ESN conducted in the Hechewa community of Aruchuku local government in Abia State, troops in collaboration with other security agencies, have intensified their operations by raiding and clearing IPOB ESN camps in the Umudi forest and Umuaku areas of Umuniuchi local government area today. The operations commenced with an offensive on the first terrorist camp, where troops encountered resistance and in the firefight, troops neutralized two terrorists, while others took to their heels having been overwhelmed by superior firepower. The terrorist camp was subsequently destroyed. Further operations led to the destruction of a shrine and another camp, with several items recovered from the sites. Items recovered include 15 pump action cartridges, 3 buffin radios, 2 daggers, 5 strike first plates, 16 phones, 5 solar panel chargers, 4 power banks, a pair of desert boots, 2 Nigerian police black belts, 1 camp gas, a sum of 2,000 naira, 2,000 nairas, 1 ATM card, 2 voters cards, 1 national ID card, 1 NURTW card, 4 wristwatches, a pair of knee guards, 6 bags, 5 phone batteries, 1 torchlight, a nylon bag containing cannabis sativa, 1 umbrella, 5 rings, 1 ornamental neck chain, 3 wristbands, 1 iPhone buried and a container of drugs. This operation marks a significant step in the ongoing effort to dismantle the operational capabilities of IPO, ESN in the region. The security forces remain committed to restoring peace and order in Abia State and ensuring the safety of residents. The military statement ends in quote. In another report, Nigerian Army said, in a clearance operation conducted in the early hours of Wednesday the 12th of June 2024, troops of the Nigerian Army in conjunction with a task force tactical patrol squad conducted a raid on a training camp of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and its armed wing, the Eastern Security Network ESN, located in the Hechewa community of Aruchiku local government area of Abia State. One AK-47 rifle with a magazine containing 79 rounds of 7.62 mm special ammunition. During the operation, troops successfully infiltrate and dismantle the camp, destroying all training apparatus and facilities found on site. The raid marks a critical move in the ongoing efforts to curb acts of terrorism by IPOB and ESN, which have been linked to various security challenges and violence unleashed on innocent citizens as well as security operatives in the state. In addition to the destruction of the training camp, the troops also targeted buildings used as hideouts for key. ESN commanders, the operation was executed with precision and yielded significant intelligence. The raid operation was sequel to heightening terrorist activities of IPO, ESN, targeting law-abiding citizens and government agencies in Abia State and other parts of southeastern Nigeria. Further updates on the operation will be communicated as the troops continue with the operations. In a separate operation, troops of the Nigerian army in conjunction with other security agencies have successfully cleared bandits and criminals hideouts around the Rele, Igubini and Sandemikiribo in the general area of Ese, Odo Forest in the Rele local government area of Ondo State. During the clearance operations, the troops recovered one AK-47 rifle, one AK-47 rifle magazine, five locally fabricated single barrel guns, and one locally made pistol. Other items recovered from the bandits include 18 rounds of 7.62 mm special ammunition and 24 live cartridges. Earlier on Wednesday, the military said, in a strategic move to combat the menace of kidnapping and criminal activities in Taraba State, troops of 6th Brigade Nigerian Army, Sector 3 Operation World Strong OPWS, executed a decisive clearance operation on Tuesday the 11th of June 2024. The operation resulted in the successful destruction of multiple kidnappers' camps and recovery of valuable items in Chinkai Forest of Bukari local government area of Talaba State. Acting on actionable intelligence reports detailing the continuous criminal activities by terrorist groups sheltering in the Chinkai Forest, troops of 93 Battalion Subsector 3 BOPWS launched the clearance operation. The troops meticulously combed through the dense forest areas notorious for harboring kidnappers' camps, prompting the terrorists to flee upon sighting the advancing troops. The operation led to the destruction of several machine structures linked to wanted kidnapping kingpins such as Isa, Shadari, Dogo, and Tela. During the operation, the troops recovered vulnerable items from the dismantled camps, including 12 mobile phones, 3 international passports, and various mystical charms utilized by the criminals. 
This successful clearance operation demonstrates the unwavering commitment of 6th Brigade Nigerian Army, Sector 3 OPWS, to confront insecurity headlong in Talaba State. The public is therefore urged to remain vigilant and cooperate with security agencies by promptly reporting any suspicious activities within their communities. The Nigerian Army continues to prioritize the safety and security of all citizens, and operations such as this to reaffirm our dedication towards eradicating criminal elements that threaten the peace and stability of Talaba State and environs. Osasuwa Kang Nebe, bringing you the news in a more digital way.